Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 15th video in VCP8 data center virtualization 2023 and in this video I am going to show you how to do vMotion in storage vMotion. So the first question what is basic difference between vMotion and storage vMotion. So basically in <coughs> VMware there are two type of vMotion you can perform. So first one is a virtual machine migration for compute and then second type if of migration is virtual machine migration for storage so if you are doing a compute migration that is known as a vmotion and if you are doing the storage basically virtual machine are vmdk files from one disk to another disk that is known as a storage vmotion so we will verify and we will do the uh, both type of vMotion virtual machine compute migration and virtual machine storage migration from one disk to another disk and compute from one ESXi host to another ESXi host and we will verify how, how we can do that and uh, what is the method to uh, basically uh, uh, get the benefit of doing all these migration and storage migration. So, I'm using my same environment which we used in our last videos. So the first one is my domain controller from where we are taking the console of our VMware infrastructure. So Win2K22DC. This is my Active Directory and DNS server. So if I show you, here it is. So we'll see here Active Directory and DNS is installed on this machine. And I'm taking console from this machine to my VMware infrastructure and I got one vCenter server appliance which is running on version 8 and I got four ESXi hosts, two of the ESXi hosts you can see in this picture. So we got ESXi 1, 2, 3 and 4, total four ESXi hosts with one vCenter deployed. Again vCenter is running as a virtual machine appliance inside our VMware infrastructure only. So this is our complete infrastructure. Now, uh, if you see vMotion versus storage vMotion in action, so you will see here if we try to, my, to uh, select the migration, right click on any virtual machine and try to select a migrate, then you will see these four options. So the first option is a change compute resource only. So this is what we call a vMotion. So in this first uh, migration type the machine will be mig going to migrate from one host to another host or a cluster so you will see clearly mention here migrate the virtual machines to another host or a cluster so using this you can do both uh, cluster migration or host migration for virtual machine from one ESXi host to another ESXi host which is maybe part of a different cluster altogether so you can do compute migration and change storage only so migrate virtual machine storage to compatible data store or data store cluster so compatible whosoever database is comp uh, data store is compatible for a migration you can migrate the data store from one uh, virtual machine disk uh, vmdk files or storage files from one uh, one storage to another storage and the third option is when you are uh, you can do both storage and compute migration all together. So migrate virtual machine to specific host or cluster and their storage to specific data store and cluster. So you have option to select where you want to migrate and all. So we'll see. And last one is a cross vCenter export. So this is going to be from one, ES, uh, one VMware infrastructure to another VMware dedicated infrastructure, standalone infrastructure with the different vCenter server which is not linked again uh, to current SSO. So we'll see these three options top three in this video. So first I'm going to show you compute migration. So means compute migration if I show you this machine let me power on all these machines so I can give you more demo. So if you see here this machine is currently hosted hosted on and running on ESXi host 01. So if I click on this machine, you will see here two machines basically running VCSA and MEM1. So I'm going to do a right click and migrate. So the first option says change the compute resource only which is vMotion. So I'm going to click on next 
and I can select any of the basically cluster or host based on my requirements. So I'm going to select ESXi4. You will see compatibility check is succeeded. So we don't have any issue. Next network. I'm going to leave default. We are using a distributed switch across all VMware infrastructure. So compatibility check succeeded. Click next. And you will see here schedule vMotion with the high priority recommended. So it is basically going to trigger a vMotion instantly. So might complete more quickly. So this is fine. Click next. And this is what it's going to do. So you will see change compute resource, leave VM on original storage and move to ESXi4. So this is what it is going to do. So click on finish. Now you will see here migration is going to start. So relocate virtual machine. So it's going to relocate from ESXi host 1 to ESXi host 4. And now how much time it's going to take. So this migration is happening on your vMotion network. So if I click on ESXi host 1 and show you. So this is basically what it's going to migrate. It's going to migrate a compute. So memory you will see here. If I click here, basically this is going to migrate the memory of this virtual machine from one storage to another. So 8 gig of memory is allocated to this machine. So based on your uh, throughput of network for vMotion network which is configured by you and your infrastructure it's going to take some time so in our infrastructure this is here uh, the migration is happening through this network uh, distributor switch and it has two uh, NICs assigned so it's going to take some time since I've, my virtual this virtual infrastructure everything is running on the same um, physical machine so this is how you can do a basically uh, virtual machine migration so let's wait for a few few seconds it will do the finish the migration soon so ESXi my ESXi host 4 already having one virtual machine you will see here if I click on VMs you will see VM03 is here and VM01 is going to come here so let's give it some time 68% is completed now you will see this is done. Now you will see VM01 is migrated. And if you want to review the task again, click on VM, go to monitor and tasks. You will see here the machine is took 1 minute 46 seconds to finish this task. And what happened during this task? So was migrated from host 01 data stored uh, 02 to ESXi04 and data store same data store so this is what we have done we have done storage uh, basically compute migration now if I go ahead and click on migrate storage only so you will see here click next so currently this this is hosted on our ESXi0 uh, data store 2 so now I'm going to move this to data store 1 so if I verify show you first so if you see here this is running on a cluster storage cluster which is we have created in uh, storage cluster video so if I click on this and show you the data store on VMs you will see here 2 and 3 is running on DS1 and DS2 having this uh, this storage so I'm going to migrate this machine and migrate to data store one. So let's do that. So storage change storage only. So this is storage migration. I'm going to select data store one. So we will have all the virtual machine on data store one and data store two is going to be free up. So click next. Just click on finish. So you will see migration is going to start soon. So now you will see here apply storage DRS recommendation is running 31% completed. So it's going to take few minutes or few seconds based on your storage throughput how much storage throughput is coming because this is something happening on basically on a storage layer. 
so if if you are connected with the fc cables with your storage box and depending on what of uh, what is read write or throughput iops of your storage it's going to take some time so again everything is running on my local machine with local ssd and vmi disk so it's going to take some time so and the disk size you can see here the virtual machine provision size is 68 gb so it's going to take some time few minutes at least so now if you see applied uh, storage drs recommendation is successfully completed and uh, if you see here now we don't have any virtual machine on data store 2 so if i click on data store 1 you will see all the virtual machines are now sitting in data store uh, uh, one so this is how you can do a storage vmotion and now um, the next thing which we are going to see here change both in compute resource and a, a, a computer and storage on the same time so you can select virtual machine from any place so let's say i'm going to select from here and this is running on esxi4 so i'm going to click on let's go here and select on esxi2 we don't have anything running so i'm going to select mem01 and migrate both click next so this time i'm going to select esxi02 because it does not have any virtual machine click next and then storage so we want to select ds2 because currently there was no virtual machine on ds2 so click next so everything is succeeded now just go ahead and finish the migration so you will see the migration is triggered now so it's going to take approx same time to finish the storage v motion and compute v motion uh, whatever it uh, took for the individual migration so this is how we can do a storage migration in um, all together and now i want to show one more thing let's say this virtual machine having two disks so currently this virtual machine having only one disk if i show you you will see here hard disk one only and 60 gigs so now let's say we have one more disk okay so i'll go here add and add one more disk so add new device hard disk and i'm going to give it let's say 20 gig and click ok so click on apply so now if i show you there is two hard disk basically is going to be associated now with this so so now if i click here you will see two disk okay hard disk one of two so if you click on so see all disk you will see here now this machine having two disk so both are inside this ds01 only okay and let's say if you want to migrate specific disks from ds01 to ds02 so how you can do that so let's verify first disk once more so if you see this is on ds01 disk 1 and disk 2 also is ds01 so i'm going to want to migrate ds uh, disk 2 to ds02 so what you can do right button click the right button and then migrate and then select storage only click next and then you will see here option configure per disk okay so we want to migrate a specific disk to specific data store so if i show you storage current storage you will see here both disk is on ds01 so i'm going to select my 20 gig disk and click on configure and now you need to select where you want to migrate so I'm going to click on disable storage DRS so it will show you both the disks data stores so click DS02 confirm now you will see here now going forward this is going to be our DS01 is going to be on disk 1 60 gig disk is going to be on DS01 and this is going to be on DS02 and click next now you will see both the ds01 ds02 configuration file is ds01 so click on finish now you will see this is going to be migrated so current this task is running 36 percent 
and this is what we are migrating our disk basically so give us some time it's going to finish the migration and then we will validate both the things so this is finished now if i click on here again just right click and you will see here two disk and if i click on see all disk you will see here one disk is moved to data store zero two so this is good now we have also verified how we can do a single disk migration or multiple disk migration from one data store to another data store so you can store during storage vmotion you can basically migrate your complete virtual machine storage from one disk one data store to another data store and if you want to have a uh, basically specific disk migration you can do that also so both of options are available for you so now you will see this is also finished so if i verify now you will see this is migrated to esxi uh, 02 and if i verify data store now you will see this is migrated to ds02 so this is good so now we have verified my um, we have done the compute migration only which is vmotion we have done the storage vmotion we have done the storage vmotion and compute migration both together and we we have verified also how you can migrate a specific file or a specific disk from one data store to another data store so this is all about the vmotion and storage vmotion so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail ideas. Thank you once again. Bye-bye.